Hello, this is Brian. Today is a beautiful July 7th, 2019. It's a Sunday. I am just off of Angeles Crest Highway, which is over there. I am parked about a tenth of a mile up that way on an intersection called Desert Front Road. So this is Angeles Crest Highway heading towards the 138. I'm about an elevation of 5,100 feet here. And this is another episode of Spotlight on Trees. Today's tree that I want to spotlight is a tree that's very common on the drier and desert facing slopes of the mountains here in Southern California. It's called the single leaf pinion, Pinus monophylla. Now, the reason why I'm filming here as opposed to other, uh, any other spot, because I'm right next to the noise of Angeles Crest Highway, is because this is a particularly awesome grove of single leaf pinions. This is an old growth grove right here. These trees are almost as large as they can possibly get, or at least that I've seen. These trees here are between 30 and 50 feet tall. Most of them are probably closer to 30, 45 feet. And as typical, they form an, typically form an open woodland like this. Now, the name, the scientific name, and the common name refer to this being a pine with its needles in bundles of one. Now, how can one needle be a bundle, you may ask? Spruces, firs, Douglas firs, hemlocks have their needles single. They're in the pine family as well. So what's so surprising about a single leaf pinion? Well, a single leaf pinion is in the pine family, the Pinaceae, like the Jeffrey pine, the Ponderosa pine, western white pine, the Italian stone pine, for that matter. However, the genus Pinus, the pines, have their leaves in fascicles. A lot of times it's two or three, sometimes five in a bundle. But a single leaf pinion does not have them in groups. However, just like any other pine, the bottom of the needle, there's a fascicle sheath. It's kind of hard to see, a little hard to see here, but I'm going to zoom this out a little bit. There is actually a sheath there. Just like other pines, the bottom of the needle has a sheath. Papery, just like just like any other pine with two, three, four, or five needles in a bundle. The single leaf pinion also has a fascicle sheath at the base of the needle, even though there's only one needle. This tree is pretty common, quite abundant in the inner mountain west. Nevada, I believe, I'm not sure exactly how far east it goes into the Intermountain West, but it's very common here in California. Very, very common here in Southern California on drier slopes. Like I said, these trees are old growth, very mature, with crooked branches, upright form, with a little bit of a flattening of the top. And Bark, as is typical for pines, furrowed, just like this, very well furrowed, not super deep, dark, kind of darkish, and on uh, young trees, this is a young uh, Pinus monophylla right here, the bark is gray, light colored, and often has little, little, little uh, resin ducts, but a lot of times with the younger trees, they're very Christmas tree-like in shape. It's when they get older and mature when they start 
rounding off and getting wider. And once they get older, they start branching closer to the base, as you can see here. The cone is a pretty small, it's a pretty small seed cone. That's actually maybe, that's kind of a small cone. It's much smaller than the Jeffrey pine, much smaller than the Ponderosa pine. There's an older cone that's dried up. Here's another one. And their seeds are not winged like the Jeffrey and Ponderosas. And the seeds are very large. So let's just say, single leaf pinion has a very nutritious seed inside. A lot of people like to call them pine nuts, but it's not a true nut. A nut is a true, a true nut is the fruit of a, of a nut bearing plant. Pinions are conifers, which do not bear fruit. Their cone scales bear the seeds. They're not nuts. But we, we, a lot of times we call them pinion nuts or pine nuts for the sake of conversation. But right here, just in a very enchanting single leaf pinion woodland, I have actually seen some single leaf pinions significantly taller than these in Ventura County along Highway 33 coming south from Fraser Park towards uh, Ojai. If you go down probably about a half an hour, 40 minutes drive from Fraser Park, you get on the 33 going south, you're going to see some uh, single leaf pinions that are about 60 to 80 feet tall almost. I remember my friend and I were driving to hike up to Reyes Peak, which is uh, south of that area, and we were driving from Fraser Park where we stayed the night because we were hiking in the San Miguel Mountains behind Fraser Park and then uh, we were driving through this valley I'm not sure the name of the valley I'm not too familiar with that area but there were single leaf pinions that were much taller than these and they were competing with some of the smaller Jeffrey pines that were scattered about in the area so so I have seen I've seen some pretty tall single leaf pinions that Looked like they could be close to 70 feet tall, maybe even a little taller. It's not very common though. In fact, this is usually about as tall as you'll see them. And a lot of times they're a lot smaller. This is just an old growth area of pinion. But they are extensive on the drier slopes of the San Gabriel, San Bernardinos. You'll see them on the San Jacintos. And then uh, you'll see them in Nevada, I believe Arizona and Utah, but don't quote me on that. But here in Southern California and up to the Central Sierras, this is, a, this is an abundant drier slope tree. This basically forms a transition between high desert and the Jeffrey Pine, Ponderosa Pine forest up, up a ways. However, I have seen single leaf pinions in wide varieties of elevations. The lowest I've seen them is about 2,800 feet near Pyramid Lake, that's in Los Angeles County. We're in San Bernardino County right now, just a few miles west of the mountain community of Wrightwood. So I've seen them as low as about 2,800 feet in around Pyramid Lake. If you get off the Smoky Bear exit on Interstate 5, or if you, you'll uh, you'll see some pinion pines pretty close to the the Hungry Valley State Vehicle Recreation Area. Now, I have also seen them as high as just above 9,000 feet, hiking up Sugarloaf Mountain in the San Bernardino National Forest, and uh, near Sawmill Mountain, which is right next to Mount Pinos which is about 8,800 feet in elevation, 88,18 is the elevation. And I've seen pinion pines along that. And I've seen them, like I said, go by Sugarloaf Mountain, you'll see them about 9,100 feet in elevation. So these trees have a wide range of elevation. So obviously they're very cold hardy, 
very drought hardy as these trees are well accustomed to drier weather. We're on the drier side of the San Gabriel Mountains right now. But I'll tell you, these trees are one of a kind. They have, like I said, they're pines, but they have their needles and fascicles of one. <laughs> which doesn't, which sounds counterintuitive. Fascicle usually means a clumping. But that's the best way to describe it, because like any other species of pine, they have a fascicle sheath at the bottom of the needle. Here are the uh, immature cones right here. As you can see, these cones are going to be ripening in the next two months probably. I would say probably by September. I believe September is a month. And I wouldn't be surprised to see people here harvesting them. And I said they're very supposed to be very nutritious. I never tried a single leaf pinion seed before. But you can imagine they're pretty nice. I heard that pinion seeds can leave an, uh, leave an aftertaste, like a silvery aftertaste. But then again, I don't know from experience. See, in this area, we have a woodland of single leaf pinion mixed with Joshua tree, Yucca brevifolia. We have Mojave buckwheat here, Areodictyon. Uh, no, sorry about that. Areogonum, Fasciculatum variety polifolium. Obviously, Pinus monophylla, the single leaf pinion. We also have. Let's see if I can get close to one. Desert apricot, Prunus fasciculata, variety fasciculata. Let's see if I can get close to one. This light, lighter colored shrub here with the finer foliage, this right here is a desert apricot. Again, this is Prunus fasciculata, variety fasciculata. As their leaves come fascicled along the stem sometimes. And they get these little apricot-like fruit droops, which are not very fleshy. They're pretty dry. But it's an, it is related to the horticultural one. And then there are a few pop-up California junipers, Junipers californica, that do occur around here. A lot of times you'll see single leaf penny with California juniper at lower elevations. But once you get above 5,000, maybe 5,200 feet, you don't see that much anymore. Usually, single leaf pinion mixes in with tucker oak, Quercus John Tuckery, which is that shrub right there. Uh, mixes in with Joshua tree. I've seen single leaf pinions in Joshua trees at almost 7,000 feet in the San Bernardinos. But once you go up higher, they're usually mixing with canyon live oak and Persia tridentata variety glandulosa. But I've always enjoyed seeing single leaf pinions. I always thought they were incredibly beautiful trees. So interesting to look at. And that's why I was on the way home from a hike up higher in the San Gabriels. Just had to come over here and just share how beautiful this place is. Right here I'm coming up on Desert Front Road, which is right there by the stop sign is Angeles Crest Highway. And here's one more shot of Prunus fasciculata, variety fasciculata. You can see the developing apricots. That's them right there. Those little round things. Those are the droops. I hope you found this episode of Spotlight on Trees interesting, and hope you tune in for whatever tree comes up next. Enjoy a view towards Wright Mountain in the San Gabriels. Thanks a lot for watching. See you on the next episode.